these rational equations have a bunch of different variables, but solving works the same as if we were just working with x and a bunch of numbers. So don't be intimidated when you see a bunch of variables like this. Uh, all the algebra works the same. So here we're trying to solve i equals a over t plus b for the variable t. So this is our goal here, this t. Now, technically, right here, we're supposed to take the LCD, which is just this denominator here, multiply both sides by it, and all that. That's being very uh, formal. In, in reality, what you do when you have a situation like this is you just take this denominator and multiply it up to the other side, right? That's, that's what we do in practice. Technically, we're multiplying both sides by the LCD, but in practice, you just multiply up like this. What does that look like here? Well, that gives us i times t plus b equals a. And remember, keep your eye on this t. This is what we're solving for. Now from here, there's actually a couple different ways we can solve this, and I'll show you both of them. Um, let's, let's try one here. We can divide both sides by i. Right? Remember, we're trying to get the t by itself over there on the left. So if we divide both sides by i, this gives us, um, what do we have, t plus b equals a over i. Okay, and now we can simply subtract the b from both sides. Right, it, it works like anything else. It doesn't matter that they're, they're variables instead of numbers. And that gives us t equals a over i minus b. i minus b. There we go. Perfectly fine answer. That is the answer right there. Um, a slightly different way we could have done this, I'm just going to go right here. We could have instead, right here at this step, we could have multiplied this i through, distributed it through. What would happen there? Well, we would have i t plus i b equals a. Okay, we're still trying to we're still trying to isolate this t, so I'm going to subtract the i b from both sides, minus i b minus IB. So now we have IT equals A minus IB. And finally, divide both sides by I. Okay, no problem. And we'll just treat this as a standard answer right here. A minus IB over I. Another answer. Now, note that these are the same answer, right? If we broke up the second one and just divided each term individually by i, it would cancel out on the second one. We'd be left with simply minus b there. So these are the same. Use whatever way is most intuitive to you. The cool thing is that we have uh, flexibility. As long as you follow the rules of mathematics, you might get slightly different forms of the answer. Up to you. Pick your favorite. Let's try part b. Here we have c equals, up on top, d times the quantity a plus 1, all of that divided by 24, and here we're solving this for a. Okay, so you always have to check which variable you're solving for. Don't get overwhelmed, don't get lost in the variables, just treat them like, treat them like they're just numbers. First thing we do, multiply up with this 24. Right? When you just have one term equals a, a single fraction like that, or a single rational expression like that, you just multiply up by the denominator. Okay, so we have 24c equals d quantity a plus 1. And again, I'll show you two ways to solve this. Right, we're trying to get to the a there, so one thing we could do is divide by d right here, right off the bat. Okay, what would that get, get for us here? Well, that would give us 24, 24c over d equals a plus 1 and then simply subtract 1 to get a isolated. Minus 1, minus 1, and that gives us a final answer for a. a equals 24c over d minus 1. Perfectly fine answer. Okay, maybe you don't like doing it that way. That's fine. Instead, you can distribute the d here through like that. Sometimes distributing is a little more intuitive when you're just getting started with these kinds of exercises. So that might be the best bet if you're brand new, to, if this is the first time you've done this kind of a thing. Um, so let's, let's break it off here. So we have 24c equals d 
a plus d. That's distributing that d through. Now I want to get a by itself, so I'm going to subtract d from both sides, minus d, minus d. All right, that gives us 24c minus d equals dA. And finally, divide both sides by d. Divide by d. Divide this whole thing by d, right? You want to divide the entire left side by d there, which gives us, I'm just going to switch it around, a equals, what do we get? 24c minus d all over d. And note that these are actually the same answer, just different forms of it.